The U.S. Supreme Court decided the Windsor case lifting the federal ban against marriage equality June 26, 2013. But certainly those of us mired in the movement in non-recognition states like Florida were very well aware that our fight for marriage equality was not yet won because while the federal ban against marriage equality was lifted, DOMA, the Defense of Marriage Act, we still had these statewide bans, uh, including in Florida. So it was super clear that we weren't going to win this battle in Tallahassee. We then looked at, uh, the, at, at what a ballot measure might look like. It takes a long time, it costs a lot of money, and um, we, you know, we, we didn't want to wait that long. So, so what's the only other option is to bring a court case. So we did the research, we chose plaintiffs, we partnered up with national and statewide organizations um, doing LGBT legal work and, uh, and, and brought that case. And it was a, a, a spectacular journey. The case that we made was a classic equal protection argument that you're discriminating against these folks and it's unconstitutional to discriminate against this one class of people. Our case was brought in state court and the ACLU case was brought in federal court. And they, so marriage equality came to the state of Florida um, in uh, January 6, 2015, but it came to Miami-Dade January 5th 2015. So for those of us who have uh, have come up in the movement here and have been working to eradicate uh, the hatred that started here um, with Anita Bryant and her Save Our Children campaign and the moral majority and all those haters, it was really sweet that that folks in Miami-Dade could marry first. Even, even if it was just a day before the rest of the state of Florida, it's a nice little like 